We are approaching the finish line, baby. We are so, so close. I've just pulled up to the unit to do one of my last, I'd say, three moves. And I've left my moving boxes at home. I forgot my moving boxes. I don't have my water. I don't have my laptop. I just dropped Ada off at her nana's and cracked on with work. So this will be interesting. I was hoping to fill two Amazon bags today. God damn it. So I'm really not sure how to go about today. I'm bagless. And you've seen how imperative they are to my move. I wonder if there's a spare one in there. Imagine if there's an empty one in there. Imagine, come on. Think positive, think positive, think positive, think positive, think positive, think positive. What's your skills? <laughs> okay, so I've got that Amazon bag which I've half filled. I can probably take the two wooden boards home today, a couple of stereos, and then it's just that for tomorrow. I'm just annoyed because in my head today, I was going to wipe this out. I was even planning on doing two trips today. In fact, I still might. I'm not too sure. That's cap, did he cap, 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 cap. But it's really put a damper on what I wanted to do today. So I'm not going to spend much time here. I'm going to drag that box down and a few different pits until the trolley's full. And that's going to be me today, which is not a lot. Yeah, quite dissatisfying to be fair. I've just released today's video. So the comments are coming in and I want to address my main man here, Top Geezer. Been giving some lovely comments on the channel recently and he made a very valid point. I'm sure it was in jest, but it's still a valid point. My last video was on about how it costs us YouTubers time and money to make videos and his comment was it costs just time to watch you as well i'm very aware of that at the end of my videos i will always say thank you so much for watching i appreciate you here i know your time is valuable i'm aware but some people don't seem to grasp the fact that youtube videos don't just pop up out of nowhere they don't just appear out of thin air we have to either sacrifice working on our ebays if you're an ebay reseller youtuber to make the videos or we invest money into the videos and we have to sacrifice our time working on our YouTube, on our eBay accounts. You know, so it's not free. So when we take sponsorship deals, we need to do it. We need to have a little tickle here and there. Tickle and a pickle on my young man's thing. I know that's not what he says, but that's how he used to sing it when I first heard it. <laughs> tickle and a pickle on my young man's thing. Uh, Jamie T, by the way. So yeah, your time is very, very precious and very valuable to me as well. I appreciate it, man, massively. Always. Just going to be taking like nitty bitty bits today in this bag. But I am very annoyed that I forgot my IKEA bags. That's pissed me off. Might be time to get rid of that one. Don't you think? I've had this for five years. I always wash it every now and then. Five years. I can't throw it away. I've had it too long. There's a newish one. That's my newest one. I've had about two months. Bring that. Let's bring the Alexa home today. Because my Alexa is shit. Love that back. Found these over there. Look, I've still got two left. <laughs> if you want one, comment down below. I watch your channel because, and then tell me why. Good or bad, I don't care. I'll pick one at random, and it will be random. It's just occurred to me there might be some people that don't know what these stickers are. So everybody knows that my lift content is just uplifting but some geezer made a stupid comment so i memed him and these stickers have been put up all around the place they're in other elevators they've been to america one of them's on a neighborhood watch sign they've on laptops macbooks office spaces appreciate you all man. that's so cool tashi's been trying to get hold of my uh faux plant she's not having it good heavens you boys cold-blooded murder of the english tongue jack had a gang that he called the many grands he was known to smack Jack the Cracker Man. Just in case Tristan's watching, that's why I let you have that one yesterday. Brazil versus Uruguay at the Emirates Stadium, 2018. Arsenal Chevrolet Global Tour. I think, that's, I think that bags. About capacity. Let's take a look at this box here. Take a look at these diamonds wrong and I'm gonna go and turn you sprint. Oh. Is that not one of the best feature verses in a very long time? Stormzy on Heady One, Cry No More. Stormzy now, it reminds me of Eminem on Forever, the Drake song. Not the style, just the fact that he came in and forget it. 
talking to the wrong crowd. Lots of Star Wars. Yeah, I'm actually quite pissed about that. There's literally nothing I can do about it. Just gonna crack on. So I noticed on yesterday's video when I was editing it that I've got a proper mission bob. That's just man on a mission, that's all. Whenever I highlight certain things like, what else did I highlight? For example, the thing in yesterday where I sort of walked and turned and did a weird step and I highlight it. None of that's planned out. I just spot it in the edit and I bring that out. Does that make sense? I draw it out, I draw it out. But um, yeah, the mission bop, oh my God. I'm probably swinging like I'm about to go swinging at someone. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I have got a bit of a gated walk anyway. I'm gonna walk, close that door. It's not stuff to do. Considering we left the bag at home, I'm actually getting a nice amount of stuff in there. out there. <laughs> See if we can get one of those boards on today. We got one. Well, we made some progress. Table clear ish. All of that's what's got to come now, and that's it. That's staying. Obviously, little scattered bits that are coming. That's coming. Oh, and that's coming as well. Oh, and that. Actually, it's more than I thought. I think I'm going to call it there in here today. Let's get home. Not bad. So that's what I managed to bring back today. Not the best, but it's something. I think somebody's already coming up here. Handy. That was, that was, that was handy. Yeah, so it's red when it's not on there, but... Um... No, well, I mean, I'm, but, I'm not saying the alarm didn't go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I definitely haven't locked myself in. Yeah, yeah. Very no, strange. If you, if you shut the door, lock it, and you're inside. Yeah, the, the yeah I remember you telling me. Yeah, 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 I've got no reason to lock the door while I'm inside either. Right, okay. So you came up just to see me? Yeah. <laughs> no, literally. No, that's anyway. No, literally, no. You're going to the bottom, basement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ground, whatever it's called? Yeah. So just then, the uh, site manager came upstairs. He was running to my office because apparently the alarm had just gone off in my room, which is a bug. It's a trip. It should never have happened. It only happens if you lock the door and you're inside. So the motion sensor goes off. But as you know, I've never locked myself in that room once. So it was a trip. Usually if you set the alarm off and the engineer has to come out, there's a fee to pay, about 80 quid or something. He said, luckily the engineer's on site. And I said, luckily I've been recording for the last 10 minutes anyway, so I've not locked the door, bro. And he was like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. Just, just coming to check. Really nice bloke. He's the, he's the bloke that looked after me when I first moved in. Really sound. Right, let's get home. So I've made it home. The tripod is decent, man. We get perfect angles with this and I'm buzzing with it. So I've made it home and I've now got some packing to do. I think I showed you yesterday this T-Fox stuff that needs to go out. I'm gonna pack that, it's gonna be a pain in the jacksie. 
I'm pretty sure inside there are tons of loose bricks that I need to somehow secure. And what can I do, you know what I mean? They're in little compartments. I reckon just bubble wrap it all up in it. I can't stop it. I can't wrap every little brick. They're all tiny, tiny little bricks. I'm just gonna wrap it. Oh, come on. Shit. Maybe. So this already has my eBay boxes. I managed to get some pinks for the first time in forever. Woohoo, yay. Do you know what I've just thought? It might well fit that way, but it's not gonna fit up two of these fucking like this as well, isn't it? Right. So yes, that fits, but Hello. Boom shakalaka. Right, let's play a guessing game. I think 5.7 kilos. That's not bad, bro. That's not bad. I mean, it's terrible because of the price, but getting that close is decent. It's nice not having to add a tether to my phone anymore because I'm on the house Wi-Fi. I've had a nice little sale, I'll show you that in a minute. I'm actually gonna send this one through parcel to go because I've still got some credit on there. So I need to use it. Where is it? There, so if we select all, unselect that. In fact, if we clear all, select just that one. Add parcel weight, six kilos, 18, 36, 52. 17 pound to use. And obviously I'm still attached to the mun bin, which is up here somewhere. All right, and print. Sound. So some of the videos that I saw, people doing reviews on and talking about it, a lot of them said that the barcodes are printing too thick and the shops weren't able to print them, to scan them. I only saw that video last night. I'd already sent seven parcels by then and not one of them had an issue. So who knows? But that was fine. I always forget without fail, that parcel to go doesn't auto update track into eBay unless you click the button. I have to scour through my inboxes and stuff. Right, let me show you some sale. Let me show you some more solds. The one I'm going to show you now is quite a nice one. And you might remember when I spoke about how people order these in multiple quantities, but the last person didn't. So these are LED drivers. I've got stacks of these, and this person ordered 20. I've got these listed at I think 6.99 each now. They sent me an offer for 20 of them. 20 and they're a repeat customer and you know what i'm gonna throw in two for good luck wonder why people do say one for luck you know, i just found the perfect box while i've sat there as well so for those quick mathematicians of you out there five pound times 20 100 pound 100 pound sale there we love that we love to see that Write a little note on there, two for luck. This is a whiteboard marker.
I know I'm quite excessive with my tape regardless, but as I started taping that one up, I noticed it had perforated edges. It's a Nature Valley box, so I'm sure they rip it at an angle and pop it on the shelf. So I had to go a bit balls deep with that one. So that's a UPS box. So I've done every yesterday and there'll be UPS today. So we'll soon see if any of these companies can't quite pick up the labels like what was mentioned. But I think they just needed to change their print settings and stuff, if I'm honest. You can change your print density, your speed and all those things have an impact on the level of quality that printers kick out. So even on your own printer at home, if you've got one that's not quite working well, have a look at the settings and see if there's anything you can change and Google your printer plus by like typing something like Zebra best print settings for Mac or whatever. Should have done that through parcel to go, fuck's sake. All right, this geezer wants quite a bit from me. Sold this for £9.99, but the message reads, uh, where is it? It's obviously drop shipping. Please send me the tracking information as soon as possible. This order is for my customer. Please send it in a plain label without any paperwork or invoices showing the prices. Please remove any eBay codes from the address label. They're usually found after the first on the, the address and are automated. Look something like this. eBay 16242R. A handwritten label is fine. Thank you in advance. Bro, I'm not handwriting my labels. Are you mad? I'm going to use the printer. I'm going to put some big thank you from eBay stickers and I really appreciate your order. Thank you for your £9.99. No, I'm not going to do that. Stupid. But I am just going to bag it and send it because you ask too much of me, brother. Kilo, buzzing. Right. Parcel weight, kilo. Small. Remember to click the update track in there we go. I've already ended the video, but I'm going to throw this in there somewhere. So I've just got my board from the office that I'm going to put here. I'm actually using this as my backdrop. It works perfectly fine. But I didn't quite take into consideration this, did I? As most of you will know, I have precision engineered the space between this. Precision engineer is probably the wrong terminology, but there's no moving it. So I've chopped this down, but I don't have a saw with me today. Or I just pat on the top, which is probably what I'm going to do. Off comes the top. Stick it on the voxel table, because that's what it is, a fucking table. Look at the set of them. It's not ideal, because I actually wanted that multicolour background. I've ran out, I haven't got enough to cover it, which is annoying. So I've got a new tripod that I was all excited about, and I'm actually sticking the car, camera on the fucking bonnet of the car. haven't moved anything yet but all you do is stick it on and pull it across and it fits it you literally just put it on drag it across and pull it a few little bubbles but all i'm doing is taking away from that plain wooden board snip the edges to fold it over and let me just plop it back on it should better isn't it lovely because all my pictures i've not been you know, i've had a batch on i call it where i can yeah that looks absolutely fine there's nothing wrong with that at all i'll find somewhere to slap that in the video i've got four more orders to do but they can actually wait until tomorrow i want to get some more photographs done because i've got so much stuff to list and so much stuff to get done otherwise my ebay store is going to die so i enjoy doing these videos but i have to try and prioritize something a little bit somewhere as well so i don't know where this video has gone however as always I, when i say it, i sincerely mean it i appreciate your time watching these videos i understand how valuable that is and if some of you guys out there that have a negative opinion on our time i invite you to try and really think about that massively appreciate it as always if you wouldn't mind liking the video on the way out i'd appreciate that even more take care see you on the next one